Hits and Crits. What's up, Hits and Crits family? Welcome to the Martell Season 5 patch review with the most anticipated or one of the most anticipated factions out of this patch um, because they got some good changes as the Targaryens when you compare it to others. Um, it was quite quite some nice changes, I would say. And um, I, like as an intro, um, a lot of people were complaining about the quality or the exchangeability of NCUs with the Martells. That was always a topic. Uh, the other one was... Um, the variety of, of units you can have and what they can do. Um, and I think we got some interesting changes, meta changing, maybe changes in the Martells. Um, yeah. And um, today, again, Larks and Iceman will accompany me and uh, we will get going right now. So as always, we start with where do we come from? And maybe, Daniel, you can tip us off. Um, where does the Martell faction come from in your book? Um, they come from a very strong position. Um, they, I, I would consider them a top faction. Um, if you go into a tournament with good builds, like they are um, definitely up there. And regarding the infection balance, I would say um, we definitely see like very strong units dominating uh, list building choices. You all think of skirmishes, I guess. And um, we also see a lot of landscape in combination with it. Um, but regarding commanders, I think they are not really locked into certain commanders as, for example, um, Greyjoys are or something, or Starks. So they have variety, and you might as well win a tournament with, let's say, Demon and Gerald, um, or you can win it with um, Oberyn and Harm, uh, Harm and Aller, no problem. So, yeah, that's that would be my um my take on it martin what do you think yeah i think you perfectly nailed it it's uh, as you said uh, the commander balance was very good the unit balance was not that good it's basically all about skirmishers and lance cavalry yeah um yeah and but now i think uh with also with the new skyreach bowman there will be some changes yeah, I feel so too. Um, what I also have have in mind is really like uh, what I hear from players that pick up the faction pretty early. So when they start out with song and they pick up the Martels early, there is a quite of like like it's 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 quite difficult in the beginning, but the but the 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 how quick they learn uh, with the Martels is quite quite impressive. How 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 quick you can pick up the playstyle. And I think that comes from the well-rounded and well-designed and let's be honest, really, really strong tactic stack, right? Because you yep. can also and and you can also combine the cards as we all know. So you can combine superior positioning with Dune tactics. You can, you, you know. So there, there's there's a quick way to learn it, and um, yeah, that's wh where where I see a great, um, uh, yeah, they're in a great spot. Like for, for, for beginners as for as for competitive play. Okay, so let's go to changes. Um, we cover the general changes first, as always. Um, for me personally, the the cha the, the the change on the lances does not really affect um, the Starfall Knights. Still do what they do, um, right? There are really tough unit mostly because of their movement um and the lances in combination i mean the um the second effect of the starfall lance is is quite nice but the most important one is really this immense or this big big threat range especially when you think cunning ploy and that is not affected by it um superior positioning same probably and as we said in the stark video superior positioning um, was probably the the worst card in, in the base tactic stack, which is which speaks for itself a little bit. Um, but um, but now it's it's more viable because especially when you have certain commanders like we talked about Oberyn. Maybe 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 Martin, you can you can dig a little deeper on on Oberyn and superior positioning. But 
now it became a viable card, probably still the worst, but now it's viable, right? It used to be a card where you just, you know, just throw it and you and you hope for the best, but you were not really expecting to have to 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 make it. And um, and Daniel, maybe you can like after Martin is done, you can talk a little bit about Boisterous Carsman and, and um, Elia or Elias Sand. Um, yeah, so Martin, so on on superior positioning um, and and the Oberyn combination, what do you think? Yeah, you're totally right. Superior positioning was. To be fair, by far the worst card in the deck. But now for some offensive commanders like Oberyn, like um, oh, what's her name? Obara, yeah, Obara. Obara, um, yep. yeah. Uh, guys, uh, uh, commanders who came with uh, Royal Guard, and you fail on a charge five or less. You can't play cards. You don't have rerolls. The Royal Guard has Shield Wall, so basically nothing is going to happen. And to finish off the Royal Guard, you need to double tap them and block their shield wall. And without mm -hmm. cards, it's basically close to impossible to double tap them and kill the Royal Guard. So I think for Obara and Oberyn, it's a very, very good card because uh, my opponent has to think when I'm um, bringing this unit up the field, oh, he has superior positioning, I can't charge them. Mm. And that's another uh, another mind game trick again with with rising temperatures, with dune tactics, and all the other stuff. And um, it's a very good card, I think. Now I would rate it maybe a little bit higher than sand diplomacy, but maybe on personal preferences because I don't like sand diplomacy. But it's a good card. Yeah, it depends on your commander choice, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Said, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, okay. good one. Um, so Daniel, boisterous charisma. Why is that important? Why why is that change important for the Martels? Yeah, it's not like first of all, like is it Elia, Elia? Please help us. If anybody knows, like write in the comments how to pronounce her. Um, <laughs> if you know, it's not about the lady sand um, because lady sand. even though it's one point, like um, it will not be um, your go-to attachment. Probably it's not like um, it's not bad or anything, but it's probably still not better than um, other one point attachments and but the thing is that one common strategy and one like boogeyman of Mattel was um, to go like full boisterous charisma in the old version mm -hmm. or at least have like two or three units and this could create a quote unquote um, hard counter uh, you could do this with great joy and um, Asher commander for example and this is now gone right no. and um, this is just something to mention uh, where this is where the Mattel balance is influenced by um, other changes. And I think for uh, the play strength of Mattel, this is yeah a very positive sign. And uh, one, one more point, because we have an attachment here, and we see a change to attachment. I think one could have um, asked for a little bit more attachment changes in the Mattels, to be honest, because like, um, what you see in competitive Mattel play, like you definitely see your spear lords, spear yeah. lords right? Yeah. You, you see your high um, hermitage sentinel maybe. Mm -hmm. And then in some wild list, which is definitely viable, you see um, Aerohota for the battle plan and uh, vulnerable in, um, in your, uh, what are they called? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Stormcross. you know what I mean? In your in mercenaries, right? Uh, yeah, Stormcross Stormcross mercenaries, yes. And, and that's basically it and there are so many other attachments so i think um a little tweak here and there would have been nice to be honest absolutely okay. the only the only guy i see but that that's probably a local thing um is what i saw quite quite often and which 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 it was an attachment that that is um when played right can really do do his part is the dervish captain yeah. with so discord mm -hmm. and and disrupt i mean it's two points I'm just saying I, 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 I seen like, I don't know, two to three games and um, that guy that plays him plays really well and he was making the best out of it. So um, quite cool attachment. But as you say, it's probably not the most efficient choice of yep. an attachment. Um, first of all, because it's two points. But secondly, it's it's th there are better ones for one point that bring brings you um, closer to um, 
do what the Martell's trying to do, which is yeah. um, basically like passive aggressiveness, basically, right? So, yeah. I would add the <clears throat> Spearman captain because when Martell's yeah. were new, threaten. true, we yeah, have threaten, and if you have the points, you can play two, maybe three, and mm. with Lady Alaria, you can lay out uh, we can token like candy and that's pretty tough but it's two or three points um but st it's it's still viable i think for Mattel, it was good because it was a um house attachment with threaten and that was very very good yeah yeah okay so that's on the general changes so to summarize it the boisterous charisma is not really interesting because a liar got changed but all the others got changed. So uh, <laughs> so let's go to the Martell changes. So the Martell changes, we want to uh, tee it off with the NCUs. And we had a pretty, pretty, pretty good uh, pre-discussion on it. And basically, you see two attachments here where Martin thinks one is good and one is bad, while Daniel thinks both are pretty good. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 a little bit undecided, but let let's let's be let let's let's take the the first one, which is not so where we are not that different in our opinions, is Nymeria. Nymeria, um, basically j just got a whole lot better um, than before, uh, because you do not have to make use of this water garden, and there was always this conflict, and maybe Daniel, you can. You can show us what Namiria can do today. Um, yeah, basically, the, the change is right that um, the plus one movement was tied to water gardens before. Now it's tied to horses, so it's um, always viable. It's um, Namiria is not anymore connected to to using Doran and Su, and that is nice. And her effects always have been good. Like could blow, um, for example. Um, it's very good plus one movement on your skirmishers and your skirmishers that you see everywhere is pretty nice. You don't need your um, your high hermited sentinel um, yeah. if you if you don't want to play him anymore or you could even double down obviously. And um, the thing is with her right um, if you play her or like use her effects so to speak late during the round you might end up getting everything and this is a very good package you have two keywords and plus one movement so yeah she's yeah. definitely up there and i think the plus one movement probably was the most impactful um and this is now unlocked yeah. all right so the other one and martin agrees right so this is not the yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, before the change, Namiria was basically eight points because you needed Doran um, to unlock her full potential, and some players didn't like Doran because the water gardens can ruin your activation order if the opponent is taking them. But now she's, I think, crazy good mm -hmm. because you can't block her except um, if you blank her card or play. Uh, intrigue and subterfuge from Lannisters and they're saying, man, Raider has it, is it correct? From Free Fog? Yeah, yeah. Daniel. Yeah. yeah. And it's if you or your opponent have it. So if your opponent says, aha, I'm blocking horses, you say, I don't care. I have plus one movement as well. And Martels don't have other um, influence and use other than Ariana, and Ariana is always on your opponent so she's she's very strong and i think um at the moment a lot of mattel players um are sleeping on her um i don't see her very often used in lists so uh yeah. use her try her yeah definitely i feel so too um she's definitely a tryout definitely now to to test out so on the other one which got really um <laughs> <laughs> almost a heated discussion uh so doran right so doran used to do like to su like to do it in a, in a quick summary he gave you points for collecting tokens now his effect is totally different so now he always when he when he claims that zone he he gets an order token if he claims um the water gardens you 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 claim two Right. So and now he has several effects he can he can he can draw from. So for example, restore wounds, remove condition tokens, draw tactics cards, or pivot and shift. Right. Um, you cannot stack them. 
right? So you can only choose one with these tokens or e each one once. Um, so maybe we start with um, Martin. Why do you think Doran is now worse than before? Yeah, first of all, I'm looking from a hyper competitive perspective on him. And when Doran gave you two point, he was basically a, the boogeyman of the meta. Everybody needed to play Peter to block him. Then he was uh, nerfed to one point uh, per round, which was totally fine. But this point could give you the edge. <clears throat> he can um, um, help you when the game is drawn. This one point was the one point you needed to win, and with the control style, play style of Mattel, um, this NCU who could give you a point, which was totally unique in this game, mm -hmm. was very, very strong. Even if it was nerfed from six to three points, and let's say six points was total, total madness, mm -hmm. three points was fine. And to be fair, it's basically one or two points because um, the game basically is often earlier decided than round six. And now this element is lost. Yeah, he has some nice effects. Pivot and shift is good. But my problem with him is <sighs> he basically will do this effect one, maybe two times a game. But I would say only one. And then uh, my biggest problem is you want to put him on the water gardens. And so if you're a first player, you put him on the water gardens. Yeah, that's fine. And then your opponent needs to activate something, as a, um, a combat unit. And then you place, let's say, Varus on the ladders. But then two NCUs are gone, and your opponent has three NCUs for this other four zones. And the Water Garden still can harm Martels because you're often playing only seven activations. And he's not unique enough to me anymore to play him, especially with the change to Nymeria. Nymeria with the horses, the plus one movement is so strong. Um, you have skirmishers with movement seven, you have um, the, what's it called? The Stuff big guys. Nuts. Yeah, no, no, it's only on infantry. Um, you can put her only on infantry. Um, Darkstar's retinue with oh, movement seven mm -hmm. could be good. Yeah. The dervishes could be good. Yeah. And it's it's a gotcha moment if your opponent ha you're one inch away. Uh, no, I'm not. I have Namiria, and I think she can replace him because her effect is more viable and more valuable because it's basically I can use it every round, every round. And Doran is mm, I'm not hyped. Okay. But Daniel will tell you why he is hyped. Daniel will do. Let's hear it. Um, first of all, we should maybe um, uh, also say that the change is in line with the general theme of the patch, right? To to remove um, abilities that yeah gain you victory points. Whether this is a good thing or not, I'm not completely decided on. Like whether I like no, it or not, we'll see. But it's it's in line definitely. That's something to yeah. um, to see here. And for me, like. This is um, this is all you want, right? This is like flexibility wins games um, because you are um, you can draw from um, a pile of cool cool neat things that might be very very helpful and impactful, like placing tokens, removing tokens, drawing one card you really need, uh, getting two wounds to I don't know um, contest an objective, whatever, um, and like pivot and shift is equal kind of functionally equal to to a free maneuver sometimes and or to 360 uh, charge um ability so and like one enemy combat unit suffers one wound could be can be like very very helpful in certain situations especially and that's my point like it's not like darwin in itself as it was uh is great but i see co potential for combinations for example like if you play skirmishers and um at night, you don't really need the pivot and the shift because you have like free reign everywhere. But in, if you play eight activations and if you play like more static infantry approaches, like I think the shift is really, 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 really good. If you combine him with Varus, for example, and you can deal auto hits and a wound to solo units running around, like, like I see, um, I see things that I consider very good here, and um, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, put him on the shelf. 
but rather try him out. And like, even if he's only there to let your opponent worry about the water gut so much, this might be a value in itself. Not pretty, not sure on how how many points that is, but um, I think he is still an interesting, very interesting NCU now. And if you know how to uh, get the most out of him, I think he can serve you well. Yeah, um, like uh, there's a little tear in my eye, but uh, the the when I saw the pivot and shift two, I was instantly thinking about. <laughs> I was instantly. No, no, no. You know, you know, yeah, yeah, Not yeah, yeah. There's that Night's Watch thing going still, but uh, so the again, watcher I, on the wall, the watcher on the wall. So, 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 I mean, it's still there, but like, I, yeah. I, 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 it's, it's totally different now, as we all know. Yeah. And it was so big to do that one in that that one particular moment when your opponent thinks, now I charge those sworn brothers, and I would just kill them, right? Because defense is only four, and then you just, you know, you just turn around, shift two charge with anything else in the back ranger hunters for example what whatever yep. it, it it was it was pulled off so many times not anymore but um we all know as or i can approve what larks is saying a pivot and a shift two in a certain situation man it's gonna be big so i'm undecided really i'm really in between you guys um i liked him before i like him now um, so I really have to try it out. I don't know. And I, and you I have, right? Everybody has. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, exactly. So I think our recommendation is really to test them. Is it your play style? Do you like it? I think, I think we can all agree on it's, it's still something that is definitely something that you, yeah, that you should try several times before you say it's either Namiria or it's Doran, right? For you. Um, okay, so that brings me brings us to not such a controversial thing. It's um, Tain Sand. So Tain Sand, the we, you know who brings the Strangler. Um, before we jump fully in, in into abilities and stuff, um, Tain Sand was was one of the. NCUs, which which was highly anticipated by myself and several other people, because it's just you know the Strangler brought a new mechanic into the game. It 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 was just cool to let an NCU die back in the day, right? So to block the uh, the the swords most of the time, but but there are other cases what 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 you can block, but most of the time it was swords because of the tech, uh, base tactics deck. But it was just a cool thing. But she was never really on the table because she's five points, right? Which is a pretty high invest for the Martels who, um, yeah, ha have a tough time to be at eight activations either way. Uh, so so she's a hard pick. And now she got changed. She's not killing the NCU after two complete rounds. Now she, her effect when someone uh, takes the Strangler, when she, when, when she chooses his own and the NCU takes the Strangler onto him, um, it basically increases like like um, rising temperatures. The effects get worse and worse. So it loses all abilities, does not count as controlling tactic zones. You may only activate this unit if you have no other units, and uh, in the end, he gets destroyed. So, yeah, Daniel, what do you think about Tyene Sand after like you have seen her mm. getting the the heal? Right, that was the first change we got. We got the additional heal. And now we get this. Where is she in your view? Um, yeah, she wasn't strong before. I, I think she still isn't. We can debate and we will do whether this is now better or worse or whatever. But um, it's probably not game-changingly better. And your point stands that it's a five-point NCU and there's heavy competition. We also discussed in, the, in our um, uh, pre-discussion that like if she would be four points, she still had like tough, tough competition within the uh, four NCU, uh, four point NCU bracket. But one thing I wanted to to say to you as a Night's Watch player, <laughs> what do you think? What happens if you use, for example, uh, for example, Gilly, and um, yeah. place her on this one? That's Gilly a good one. Using all abilities, That's suddenly a... yeah. she stays. You know. That's something that is uh, right now debated and which I find controversial about the design, which is probably not intended. But if no. Gilly loses all abilities, she will not die. So go for it. 
if no, you have the chance. Not right now. No, that's another <laughs> that's a different story for another day. What I'm gonna play. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Martin, right? Do you agree? Is there anything you can take take her for? Is the, are there are there lists where you where you think, yeah, I mean in certain matchups or certain things you want to achieve with a list or a commander is is there a place for her or would you always go to something else i think i would just play her for fun in beer and pretzel games and not in a regular tournament or some leagues because as daniel said with only the strangler she was like uh, then she got buffed now i think she got nerfed a little bit for me there was no reason to change her she was okay-ish was five points with the old strangler with the heel and i would say uh we didn't talk about over an ncu because he's still yeah it's it's hard but he's garbage and i would say give him some love and uh, let Tain stay where she was with a normal strangler and heal, and I think that would be better for House Martel because Oberyn is other uh, Oberyn NCU is not playable anymore. He, and that's not sad, anymore. I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that thing, and she was she was okay. So let's let's uh, leave her at she was okay. She, she had her moments, as you said, with the tactics deck. Give him some love. And that would be better overall. Hmm. Yeah. I but, think yeah. I think, yeah. I, I think in certain situations, it might, this might be better. But once again, like um, this is, it's it's definitely not enough. Um, I, mm. I I disagree. Like leaving her as she was still wouldn't be enough. I think they have to find out maybe one little one more tweak, and then they are, they might be there. Maybe it's even. Going just reducing the point costs. I don't know, but yeah. um, as you say, right? We want to see this mechanic work because it's so cool and so yeah. um, so fun. Could be so fun, yeah. Exactly. That's what I wanted to say, right? Out of the lore, all the story, and we all know the Strangler. We all have Joffrey in our heads, and like it's not, you know, it's not the same poison. We all know that. But but when I when I read the Strangler, I always have this Joffrey had in my mind where he's you know with his eyes uh, bleeding and all that stuff so so um you know it, it would be so cool to have such a mechanic in the game but yeah maybe next time maybe next patch but um but we still because we are building tryouts and we think you should yeah. we build a list which makes use of her and maybe daniel you can show us this list and uh, guide us through the ideas we put together here yeah um, as Martin said, Mattels in competitive circumstances are pretty much completely played seven activations. And uh, what we th what we think is that now with the, um, the arrival of Skyreach Bowman, but also it was already possible before, but you can play eight activation uh, and there's merit and use uh, in doing so. And this is what this list is about, um, using um, a lot of mobility from the Mattel Spearman, um, using uh, the new Bowman, and um, playing the long the long game and um, having a long plan with Battle Endurance, uh, also um, with the new Doran Mattel in combination with Tayen, uh, Tayin and uh, mm -hmm. Lord Varys. And in this very list, Tayin, I could see um, Tayin blocking the water gardens for your opponent to really um, free Doran in his ability to to wreak havoc. And the, as I said, as I mentioned, the combination of Doran and Varys um, makes uh, like free folk list, for example, be very cautious on the tactics board. And um, a high activation list as this with range is, for example, a good threat against free folk nowadays. So, yeah, and. Ilya Sand, you know, in, in Mercs could be another attachment, obviously, but um, maybe give her a chance. And mm -hmm. again, like if you're up against uh, Giants, for example, um, precision is not the worst keyword. Yeah. And you're saying Doran, like to, to for, for, for our viewers, uh, you, you, mm -hmm. you, you, you mean Doran and Lord Varys because, or T Tyene will, will make sure Doran can gather up yeah. his tokens and make use of the Water Gardens while Lord Varys is basically 
uh, making the swords unattractive because of the three hits yeah. and stuff. That's why it's so... Um, yeah. Like to, to map out the sequence, right? Yeah. You, you go on, on, on water gardens and deal a wound to the cat or the wolf or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And now your opponent obviously can use swords uh, if, we, if if he's engaged, but then the animals are um, really like Basically dead, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For, for example. And um, there are some other possible combinations, obviously. But mm. the shift, again, here is very important. The pivot and shift, I mean, like for if, if, if your bowmen are supposed to be flanked or whatever. So I think... Um, this could be something along those lines, uh, which you can do with the new NCUs, for example. Yeah, I think especially because of the movement from Doran and also the tw twice tactical repo, right? It's twice and the various there. shifts, yeah. And the various shifts. So this this list is highly mobile. Um, I like it, right? Um, yeah. So, but one question remains. I know what Daniel is going to say, but I will ask. Martin, the Skyridge Bowman, outflank or no outflank? <laughs> um, <laughs> normally, I would say <laughs> run away Nor from outflank, but normally. normally, but in this list, Daniel um, created a nice thing with Tayin with the poison mm -hmm. on the water gardens and with Tayin's ability. This list has basically a money back free every round if you like, because Tayin is going to heal one. Doran can always, because he's collecting the tokens when he's going on to water gardens, and then he can spend them. So you have three heal basically every round for free, to, and you don't give up anything because um, of Doran's ability and Tayin's poison. You can. Um, keep the sky reach bowmans longer in the game, especially with the outriders. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, and in like, this list, sorry. I would say you have a in a perfect world, you have to calculate you have a, a heal of seven or eight, it depends if you're claiming the backs or not, and if the outriders are fighting or not. And I would say, with a basically free heal in the, in the important round three, four, and five, with seven or eight, I think you can outflank. The Bowman's here. Mm -hmm. You could, you could. That's what I wanted to, to hear. And like, imagine, like Bow, Bowman come in, and then he uses horses. You various shift, and then you have like two more shifts <laughs> with on your six-inch cavalry. So, yeah. um, I think they they will get help very quickly. And yeah. this is a fun thing that you could do, but obviously you don't have to. You can just do as sure. normal. But it's it's cool that we are arriving a point where we see. Where you, yeah, yes. where you might yeah i never thought we, we would arrive at this point <laughs> yeah, good true. one yeah so all right that's on the um, uh, our season five tryouts so you do you make sure to to test them out and uh, tell us in the comments down below how how you did or if you think otherwise maybe you see other um changes that influences the the list building on martels right now just Drop it or hop on the Discord and discuss with Larks, Iceman, myself, or the other cool, cool Martel players or all, all the pros on the Discord. Um, so that brings us basically to the summary. Um, so let's start with Martin. Um, now in S5, where are Martels? I would say that the rich got richer. Um, yeah, good call. Some nice buffs. Um, Tain. In competitive play, yeah, you don't care. Mm -hmm. um, but your tactic get, I saw. I know it sounds basically impossible, but still got stronger and better. And I think, and also the one thing we missed, the nerf of the traps. Traps were uh, yeah. very painful for Mattels, and now yeah. it's only three hits. Uh, and that's another one. So I think Mattels could be a top three faction and on a good day uh, you can beat basically every faction with all your tricks with all mm. your cards with all your good units and ncus and uh, yeah um if you have a good learning curve with them and see them as a nice operation tool not a big hammer like rajon uh, you will have a lot of fun playing them and 
Uh, your opponents will get some cheers if they don't know Mattel's again. I think. Um, oh, yeah, that's the case good. already. That's the case already. Yeah. You'd... Yeah. Okay. Fair. Okay. Yeah. Fair, yeah, fair, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Yeah. But I think um, I like the changes. Um, yeah. yeah. That's all I have right. to say here. Daniel, do you have anything to add to this one? I just agree on on the impact uh, with traps. Um, yeah. Because, like, as a free folk player, I have to sketch out a different strategy now against them for example i think there are strategies uh, no doubt but um and and again like there are some greater players uh, they have to wrap around their head like yeah what to do now mm. and good times for mattel yep good times ahead sun yeah sun is rising sun, sun is rising in the in the east all right <laughs> um <laughs> all right so that brings us to the end of the video and uh, as always, a uh, big shout out again to all our Patreons and the supporters we we got along the way. Um, if you want to support us, you know you you know where to find us. It's um, on on Patreon or Ko Kofi or Buy Me a Coffee. You can find us. Uh, just check the description uh, below if you want to support us because the Patreons made basically happen that we have these awesome playmats now and these playmats in col uh, collaboration with playmats you gave basically give you everything on on that you need on a on a song playmat you have the deployment zones the objective tokens the discard pile the deck uh, victory points you basically have a place for everything that you need in the game so thanks Patreons again to make for making this happen, I will drop a comment, uh, um, uh, a link in the description below, so you can check it out on Playmats. And um, yeah, that that's it for Mattel, and I'm really hyped for the la for 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 the next one, which is about to come. Uh, I heard it's getting. Uh, I have to take my, my my black hoodie out for that one, uh, but <laughs> so let's see. I'm actually not that excited, but let's see. All right, so you guys, until we meet again. Roll those crits. Come for the hits and stay for the crits.